Hi guys, this is Ari from TechShare. Uh, I want to share a very quick video today. Uh, I just installed Habitat uh, on top of Sidecore uh, Experience Platform 9.2, and I thought, okay, let's share the uh, share share the experience and also what I actually did in order to uh, successfully install Habitat application on top of Sidecore 9.2. Past two days, I was actually trying to install Sidecore uh, 9.2. Sidecore 9.2 installation is very easy, but the main problem I found is to installing Sidecore experience uh, commerce with it. So sometimes I found really hard and I was actually struggling and I as well as stumbling in uh, several places. But finally, I got it through and it's running successfully. And then I found, okay, let's install Sidecore Habitat platform on top of it so that I have all the standard Helix pattern, everything implemented so that I can jump into my real work if I need. So that was the purpose of uh, installing Habitat actually. So what I found is, let's, let me share you um, the, the experience of the thing I did. So first thing first, so what you need to do is if you go this uh, download directory, then you will see I installed this, uh, sorry, I downloaded this Habitat on 8.1 zip from sitecore github repository once you did that then unzip this one you're gonna see this one okay the very first thing is if you open this solution in visual studio 2019 2019 is something you need to do otherwise uh, it will not support in other visual studio version the very first thing is you need to change the publish uh, url okay the pre first prerequisite is you already installed sitecore 9.2 because this version of Habitat on 8.1 is uh, supported for uh, Sitecore 9.2. So you install Sitecore 9.2 in your platform, in your machine already, it's running successfully, then you actually go for it. So here you can see you need to use the publishing URL, pretty straightforward. Why you need to do that is, you know, when you build this solution, then what it will do, it will uh, deploy all the DLL and all the items, everything to your, um, this target this publishing url target that's why it is really important so the other places we also need to provide the information is this gulp config file as well because gulp is being used in the deploy uh, deployment or build system of this so it is also really important to know by gulp that where is your physical file folder location where it's going to deploy all the necessary things dll and everything so you can see here the instance root is your website physical path and that is the only information you need to provide here because everything should automatically be configured here as well. All right. So once you did that, then what you need to do is you need to go uh, this directory uh, through your uh, command prompt. Definitely you should run this command as administrator and then you need to npm run npm install what it will do it will definitely resolve all the dependency everything and also install to your solution and since it is already installed so, so you don't see nothing is there then what you need to do you need to use the gulp and what gulp does gulp actually build your solution and it will deploy all the necessary dll for everything there gulp actually can give you um to enable you to create gulp enables you to um create task and uh, you can run that task one by one or maybe you can configure a default task through everything will be run so here we already have a default task configured inside the gulp that will do uh, the build first and then it will deploy everything to your cycle instance okay so if you run gulp then that's all but what i found is that i really want to share is um, the unicorn synchronization was failed so what i found is in the gulp Everything was fine. Everything was deployed. All the DLL, uh, everything deployed. But what was not uh, happening was the unicorn sync was not successful. If the unicorn sync was not successful, means literally you're not going to get any files or any database rows in your site code databases. Therefore, you're not going to see any content here. So in the content editor, you can see now habitat folder. So it is nothing but a but a database entry, right? In the in the file in the in the site core uh, under the hood. So everything is kind of a database row. So if the synchronization was failed, means you are not gonna get any content here, even though all the deployment was successful except the synchronization. So it is really important to make sure that synchronization is successful. So for that, what you need to do is, I believe uh, this is something every 
body will suffer is you need to go in econ directory and you need to make sure these three files are unblocked from powershell to execute so for that what you need to do you can actually um, use uh, a commandlet called unblock file commandlet so you just need to provide unblock file with the file full path and name then it will unblock those certain files those files to to execute in powershell and then you will see that your unicorn is successfully running once your unicorn is successfully runs then what you're gonna see is something like this so it is like it will tell you all the files and master means inside the master database uh, it is being created as well as if uh, yeah finally it has the publish publish means all the file that is already been created inside the master will be inside the web as well so that's all so when everything is done then what you will see if you go here and then you will see try to browse this uh, habitat website i mean your root url then you are going to see this habitat application already running on top of it pretty cool right so this is kind of a a, a standard um, uh, application that you could also follow because habitat is completely followed by uh, sitecore helix pattern and practice now what is helix pattern and what is helix practice that would be kind of a different uh, topics i will discuss that later but what you can do now is you can actually modify this content you can create your own content here you can create your own project you can create your own feature module and everything just you need to follow the the habitat um, or helix pattern and practice you can use the habitat solution to create your own project so what you can do is here if you open the habitat solution then what you can see here is it has this um, uh, here sorry feature foundation project so if you have a new feature then you can add your own feature or if you have already a fact feature you can modify uh, this content to your own so you can actually follow that but before that definitely you need to learn or understand the helix pattern and practice that is pretty easy probably i'll i'll create a new video in the next uh, next week or so okay so that was the thing i i wanted to share maybe I, i'm gonna share in the next video uh, about the sidecore commerce uh, experience commerce 9.2 how can you install that and how can you straight away uh, use your um your um maybe a, a small page you can create a small page where you can add your product to your cart you can check out and everything i will show you in the next video or maybe a couple of videos okay till then i think that's all i don't need to share anything right now i really wanted to make it very quick and uh, yeah i am successful i would say okay see you there if you like my channel then definitely don't forget to subscribe it and if you have any comments then then just comment it or you can actually uh, mail me okay or maybe you can uh, send me a message in linkedin as well okay see you in the next video till then bye bye have a good day